Hi, this is Mato. In this video, we are going to have a look into one very interesting chess opening. Some people call it Paza opening. It starts like this. E4. E5. Queen to H5. Attacking the pawn on E5. It is known that American Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura has played this opening too. Let me tell you something about Hikaru Nakamura. This name is one of the reasons that I didn't change my name from Mato to Matthew. You probably didn't know that people in Australia couldn't remember my name and they couldn't pronounce it. They called me Maro, Marto, Marco, Mayo, Marcus, Matteo, Matt and even Maximus. I thought if people can pronounce Hikaru Nakamura, and if they can remember that, they should be able to pronounce Mato too. My daughter didn't approve the change from Mato to Matteo. If she okayed it, you would be hearing this. Hi, this is Matteo. <laughs> Just imagine how do you like this? And this is all from Matteo today. Okay, let's go back to our game. If you remember the game Boris Becca and Gary Kasparov, remember that Gary Kasparov played knight to c6, defending the pawn on e5. And then Boris Becca played queen to f3, Kasparov played knight to d4, attacking the queen, queen to c3, knight to f6, attacking the pawn, Becca played f3, and Kasparov continued with g6. Even stronger move is d5. But let's go back to knight to c6. White can play even better move than queen to f3. And that is what I see when kids are playing. That is bishop to c4. Threat is checkmate on f7. So the best response is g6. Queen to e7 is also playable. And then queen to f3, threatening checkmate again. Knight to f6. Knight to e2, preventing knight to d4. Bishop to g7. d3. Castling. Bishop to g5. h6. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen and black is doing well out of the opening. But let's go back to this position. One of my subscribers suggested that black can play knight to f6 in this position. So this video is the result of my research. What do you think? How good is this move, knight to f6, sacrificing the pawn on e5? Let's have a look. Queen takes pawn on e5. Check. Bishop to e7. Knight to c3. And now, knight to c6 comes to mind. But this is also a good move. Castling. Bishop to c4. In the game Maya and Ox, there was d4, and after d6, black also won. But we'll examine bishop to c4, which looks very logical move. And now, rook to e8, lining the rook with white queen. Queen to g3, quite a logical move. And we have reached the most critical position of the game. It is black to move. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Have a good look. If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for black. Ready? Would you play this? Knight takes on e4. Knight takes knight. And now, d5. Forking two pieces. Bishop to b3. What now? Your move. 
pawn takes knight is not the strongest move. Bishop to d6 is the move. Attacking the queen and black wants to recapture the knight with rook. Queen to f3. Perhaps queen to d3. White didn't play this move because now pawn on d2 is blocked. So we have queen to f3. Rook takes knight. Check. Knight to e2. Black played bishop to g4 and white resigned. Possible continuation is queen to c3. Rook takes knight. Check. King to f1. Queen to h4 threatening checkmate. Perhaps g3. Check. King to g1 and there is checkmate in one move. That is rook to e1 checkmate. So we came to the conclusion that knight to f6 is also playable in this position. But if you prefer to keep the pawn, then knight to c6. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.